Hi, this is Kate Stellman with yogahealer.com. And today, I'd like to do a little inner body anatomy meditation. And you can do this with eyes opened or eyes closed. Just go ahead and take an upright seat and deepen your breath. And as you deepen the breath, the first, this first part of your inner body anatomy or your subtle body anatomy is you're opening your pranic channels, the channels of life force energy. And as you breathe deeper, start to actually assess the state of your pranic body. Is it stale? Is it vibrant? Is it open? Is it blocked? How deeply can you breathe so that as you inhale, can you feel all the way into your pelvis? Can you feel your inner thighs move back, move apart? As you exhale, does your tailbone naturally draw down as your palate lifts up? So you're just assessing, and at the same time, and this is the interesting factor, at the same time as you're assessing, you're actually mixing your awareness with the pranic body, and that's going to create a synergy of transformation. It's going to create more integrity in your pranic body. Just assessing, feeling, do you feel open? Is your energy moving more upward or downward? Up in your head or, or down like there's a heavy weight on you? Or is there an even flow? And see if now with your awareness, can you create an even flow? Up, down, in, out. And now from that place of even flow, start to assess your water body or water channels. The shrotas or the channels that hold the liquid of, of you. The blood, the cerebrospinal fluid, the urinary channels, all these water channels of your body, sweat channels. You feel it just as a water body. You start to feel as the, the waters of your body, are they pure or impure? acidic or alkaline. It's interesting, a lot of people test, you know, their acidity or alkalinity with pH strips. You can probably actually get fairly good at just assessing with your awareness. Are you acidic? Are you alkaline? Is your blood chemically impure or pure? And now you'll notice if you deepen your breath, as you focus on the water channels, you're actually purifying. You're adding oxygen, removing carbon and other waste from this water channel of your system, of your blood body, your water body. Again, mixing your awareness with this subtler body anatomy. Let's feel, are you dehydrated? Are you hydrated? Are you fluid or are you kind of stuck? <clears throat> are you lubricated? The water body moves actually through the joints, through the, the kaphic element of the joints, Sleshaka kapha. Just feel how your joints feel. Are they hydrated, lubricated, or crunchy and crusty and or even frozen? And start to just move the breath, moving the prana, move through the water body and see if, if there's more fluidity now that as you inhale, you feel the water channels of your body just open and flow more so that your whole organism seems to be pulsing just like a wave-like action as the water body gains integrity. You can feel this. You're building the integrity of your organism so that all parts of your organism start to act as one with integrity. Just through moving your awareness in your subtle body, moving through your subtle or subtle or anatomy, more subtle than your just your blood, more subtle than just your bones or just your muscle tissue. And you're starting to develop a, a, a mental channel within so that the mind channels, the mental channels are now more easily able to start to move through the subtle physical channels, your subtle physiology. 
was moving with your breath. And now feel into your waist channels, waist channels being uh, feces, sweat, urine channels, menses channels. All these are the channels in which waste moves out of the body. Waste in, in Ayurveda isn't considered a negative, it's considered function oriented. So there's a function to all your waste and just feel are your waste channels holding integrity, easily enabling the, the food body to eliminate fecal matter, the water body to eliminate urine, the blood body to eliminate menses, the sweat to move deeper impurities out through the skin and just feel your channels, you're assessing how's your waste channel your most primitive waste channel, the apana vayu, the downward flow, is that complete? You had a complete elimination today. Have you eliminated about 18 inches worth of fecal matter from your colon? It's very graphic. Or is there stuck, stale energy, stuck, stale matter from yesterday still in your body today, diminishing the integrity? of your overall functioning. Just feel, don't judge, just feel, just notice. If your waist channels are highly functional, you'll feel a sense of levity, lightness, clarity, an inner feeling of both emptiness and fullness, an inner abundance that just comes from the subtle body being in a high state of integrity with the universal flow of energy, with universal energy. I mean, just feel and notice. Have you sweated recently? Did you sweat yesterday? Your sweat channels open, opening the vibrancy from your heart out through your skin, the cardio function out through your skin to feel that pulsation of energy, Viana Vayu, the movement from the heart center out through, through your peripheral parts, out even through your skin. And just simply notice, take stock. And now again, shift your awareness into the breath channel and let the breath just pulsate you open. <clears throat> and notice now simply just through moving your awareness through your subtler anatomy, through some of these very, very basic physical anatomy, but from a subtle awareness, are you more alive? Is there more Shakti, more energy pulsating in your body? Are you more intuitively aware of what your body needs, of what your mind needs, of what your organism desires to be an even greater vessel for the universal energy to flow and act through? And then simply draw your palms in front of your center and honor any intuition that may have arisen through this journey into your subtler anatomy. And if you're interested in exploring subtle body anatomy, this is what my Ayurvedic living course does. Over the course of nine months, we start to learn the basic energies and how energies move through systems, through channels, through tissues of the body and really start to dive deep into our subtle body anatomy so that we have an inner way of assessing, uh, inner way of assessing how to create the next level of ecstatic health and well-being, and be of of greater service with a stronger intuitive life force energy connection.